Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I got asked this question just recently, and it's a question that I've been asked many, many times. And even before I got asked the question, I've always wondered about this question as well. It's like, how do you love somebody when you really don't like what they stand for? And that is such a great question because it's really coming from a heart that is grappling with the fact that, that God is a God of love, Jesus loves us, and he invites us to love other people, but there's some people we just really don't like. We don't like what they stand for. We don't like what they value. We don't like what they embody, right? And so, so you, the question becomes like, how do I really do it? Well, I think the first thing is we need to, it's a gospel question, because we have to go down deep into the fact that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God loved us even though what we embodied was completely opposite of all the things that God valued. God is perfect, we are not. You know, God is all loving, we are not. Uh, God is faithful, we are not. I can do this all day. So the first thing is it becomes that we need to go down deep into exactly what the cross of Jesus Christ was all about. It wasn't like God kind of kind of agreed with us and so he loved us. No, like we were his enemies, the Bible teaches. And so that's the first thing, it's a gospel thing. Second thing, it becomes a question of personal pride because I believe that when you are humble, there's no reason not to love another person because you see in their failings your own capacity for failings. And the only reason we cannot love someone is because we feel in some ways superior to them. But what I would tell you is that if you're a follower of Jesus and you have embraced uh, you know, the crucified Savior who had to die in our place, we have no reasons to feel superior over somebody else because at best, we were lost and we were and we were found by the Lord, but we weren't found because of what we've done. We were found by what Jesus did. So there's no reason for us to feel superior. So first it's a gospel question, then it's a pride question. We wanna get the gospel right and we don't wanna walk in pride. Instead, we wanna walk in humility. Isn't that good? So good. Okay, listen, share this video because I want people, I want everyone to learn how to love people they don't agree with and all that because that's what God wants for us. And in the comment section, I want you to share a little bit about how you're learning to love people who you don't necessarily like or who you don't agree with. Because I realize, you know, it's, it's not like all of a sudden you just get it. We're all on a journey and we want to encourage one another to continue on this journey. And God bless you today.